All right, team. Looks like we are good to go. All right. BFIT Nation, how are we doing today? Welcome back to another BFIT Live, another Motivational Monday, another chance to progress through the week, starting the week off nice and strong. All right, team. Today, we have myself, Roy Montes, and we have Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning, Roy. I'm doing great. How are you? Yes, ma'am. I'm doing well. <laughs> Except for my cat's about to knock my plant over. What's that? Everything's great. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's a, it's a great way to start your day and our day with today's BFIT Live. So join us. Welcome. Get settled in, team. BFIT Nation, get settled in here. If you are new to our program, we want to welcome you. All right, team. Today, we are working on strength on a foundation of strength here. So some, re some resistance training that we're going to work through for today. Um, again, if you're new, uh, welcome. Join us. Uh, let us know where you're watching us from, okay? Are you at home? Are you in a gym setting like myself? Are you outdoors today? Uh, where are you joining us from? Let us know. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> so with that, I'll break down the timing for today, the movements for today. I'll demo each movement of the workout, and then we'll get started into some dynamic stretching, and then we'll go directly into our workout, which is just under for the, the bulk of the workout, just under 20 minutes. So if we're looking for a quick 35-minute program workout, grab those shoes, grab that drink, grab that towel. Let's get settled in here. Find your workout space that it works for you. And then we'll get started here. So um, today's timing for today, team, we are working on resistance training. We're working on some um, strength training movements here. So some lower body movements, some push movements, some pull movements, and again, some, some lower body movements. We're going to work through four different movements for today. Our timing is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute rest in between each round, and then um, four rounds. Again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four movements, four rounds, one minute rest in between each round. All right, team. Um, I'll get started with the demos. That way we know exactly what we're looking forward to uh, once we get into the, to the workout. And then we will uh, go into some stretching and then we will uh, get started. So exercise number one, movement number one here, we're looking at some resistance, okay? We're working on some nice foundational movements with our lower body, things that we can apply uh, in the gym as well as outside, okay, for functional movement. So we have a staggered squat alternating staggered squat for movement number one with our dumbbells. If you have anything, if you have any dumbbells, let's go ahead and grab those. If you have a kettlebell, we can use that as well. If you have a med ball or a weight ball, that's perfectly fine as well. Um, or anything with the handle, anything to add a little bit of added resistance. You do not need it, but um, if we have it, let's go ahead and grab it if we are at that fitness level. So we're going to set ourselves up here. Our feet are going to be shoulder width apart as well as heel to toe on our, our foot placement. So my right foot is back. My left foot is tracking forward. So that's going to be my lead foot. Lead foot is tracking forward. All right. I'm going to go ahead and rack one dumbbell. So we're going to use one dumbbell here. We're going to use it as um, a goblet style squat. Okay. So we're going to hold it with the head of the dumbbell. So foot tracking the back of that heel. We are going to sit down into that low compact squat, that front knees tracking over that front of the toe, keeping that chest up, spinal alignment here. So your neck and your spine are going to be in that alignment. Drive up through that front heel. That rear leg is just like a kickstand. So about 80% of that weight should be on that front leg. Okay. Right leg forward with that alternate leg, drop down into that squat and drive right back up. Okay. Alternate left leg and right leg for 40 seconds of work. Okay. Okay. Exercise number two, movement number two, we're gonna grab two dumbbells here. We're gonna go into dumbbell reverse flies. So with our feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees, we're gonna hinge at the hips here. We're gonna bring our dumbbells palms facing each other and we are going to fly into a T formation, really isolating our mid to upper back with that reverse fly. A nice and controlled movement on the way up, nice and controlled movement on the way down. Again, our Hips are gonna hinge right here. So we're pushing those hips back. That back is flat and that head is in alignment with our spine. So try not to look down so much, try not to look up so much, but right in that neutral area where that spinal alignment is into that reverse fly. Okay, team, that's movement number two. Movement number three, we have a lateral lunge. So we're gonna go ahead and either scale up or you can do no resistance here, but we are finding that center of our workout space here. We are going to extend out to the right or left, 
drop those hips back, knee tracks over our toes, sitting back in that chair, if you will. Toes are gonna be in one line, right? We wanna make sure that our toes are in one line here as we lateral lunge to the right end or left, extend back up to center, regroup, and then laterally lunge to the opposite side, shifting our weight here to the left, drive up using our arms as well as needed and back to center. Okay, that's gonna be lateral lunge for movement number three. And movement number four, we are jumping down on the floor here for T push-ups. okay? A little bit of core activation as well as a chest uh, push movement. So we're gonna get in our high plank position. Our hands are gonna be stacked underneath our shoulders <clears throat> in that high plank position. So our back is flat, our hips are square to the floor here. We are gonna drop down into our push-up, extending back up. Once we are up and out of that push-up, we're gonna rotate, left hand comes up into that T formation, nice strong T. Toes are still on the floor, hips are still square to the floor. And our gaze is gonna follow our fingertips as we um, rotate back down into our push-up. And then opposite hand tracks up towards the ceiling, gaze follows our fingertips and right back down, okay? Um, nice movement here, try to keep a nice strong stance here. So uh, where your feet are placed, Think about them being shoulder width apart here. That will give us a better foundation while we go down into that push up and more stability as we track up into that T rotation. So keeping our core nice and tight as we go down into that push up and then extend up in that T rotation. All right, team. All right. <clears throat> Let's get settled in here. All right, team. Well, dynamic stretches first. So we want to make sure that we get our bodies nice and prepared and ready to work here. I see that we are looking good, team on our Facebook Live, let's go into some dynamic stretches here. So we're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back to our hips. Left hand goes up, reaches for the sky, pushing those hips forward, feeling that stretch in our quad and in our hips as we raise alternate leg and alternate uh, opposite hand here. So right hand goes up, left leg goes back, alternate at your own pace. Sitting in a little bit more as needed. Go do each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds and then we'll move on to the next. So each one of these is kind of geared towards the type of movement that we're about to do. So really focusing on our hips and our shoulders right now for that staggered squat and those lateral lunges. Speaking of lateral lunges, let's go into a lateral lunge, fixed feet. Um, shifting of weight here. So we're into that lateral lunge stance here. Our feet are going to be pointed forward, our toes pointed forward. We're going to shift our weight to the left and to the right. Nice and controlled, not too aggressive here, but we're thinking about feeling that stretch in that inner part of our thigh as we raise back up to center and extending back into that lateral lunge, shifting our weight once again, driving back through our heel, back to standing, back to center and right back over to the opposite side. Good, nice and control. Just thinking about that stretch here, warming up our lower body, warming up our hips here. Good, last three, two, one. All right, team, let's go into hip circles here. Hip circles, hip circles. All right, right leg back, right leg forward, left leg back left leg forward. All right, who's looking forward to today's workout? I know I am. I was moving a little slow today. So to get my morning started with a morning workout is exactly what I need to kick off my week. Sergeant Barry, how are you feeling today? Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. I really do need a good workout. So like you said, this is the best way to start the week for sure. Yes, ma'am. And I know we have different types of workouts that we go through. And today is all about just a controlled movement. So we really want to focus on our form, really focus on the muscle groups that we are um, targeting as we execute each movement. Okay, let's go into, uh, as I stretch out. All right, team, let's go to reverse lunges with a reach. Okay, top of the workout space here, right leg goes back, hands come forward, uh, hands come together, and we reach over that leading left leg. Okay, back to standing. Left leg goes back, right leg is forward, hands together, just a small reach over 
to that right side. Whatever lead leg is forward, that's the direction that you're gonna reach over to, okay? You'll feel that lower body opening up, those hips opening up, blood flow is going to our lower body, as well as with that stretch, you'll feel that in your lats, mid to upper back here, shoulders, as your arms get extended out nice and tall. Nice. Last two here, really sit in. Last one here. Good, all right team. Standing up nice and tall, we're gonna bring it back down with our heart right here. Nice big single arm circles here. So I like to brace myself with the opposite hand as one arm is going backwards. Nice big circles here, nice strong stance. Three, two, we're gonna alternate and one, and let's go ahead and go the opposite direction here. So now I'm going forward with my hand, with my arm, nice big circles here, really opening up that shoulder, really help out with our push-ups, and our reverse flies. All right, team, let's go ahead and alternate. Left arm here, nice proud stance here. Good, good, good team. Three, two, one, and backwards for the last movement here. All right, team, let's get settled in here. I am going to grab my timer and we will get ready to work here. All right, team. All right, here we go. All right, grab that water. Let's get settled in. Here we go. All right, movement number one, staggered stance, 20 seconds. Actually, alternating leg staggered stance with our dumbbell. We are starting in 10 seconds. Remember, no weight or added weight. You're going to take that staggered stance here, feet shoulder width apart, heel to toe on that foot placement, dropping down into three, two, one staggered stance here, alternate left leg and right leg, 40 seconds on the clock. All right, making sure that we keep that hip and that back up, chest up, nice and proud. Good, think about driving up to that front leg, right? Nice compact movement. So we're really just focusing on that front leg as we drop down into that low squat and then drive up through that heel into that. Standing position, last 10 seconds here. Good. Last five. Out in three, two, one, time. All right, team, reverse flies are coming up in 20 seconds after we take this bit of a rest here. So I'm gonna set myself up with some resistance here. 12 seconds, dumbbell reverse fly. Remember, we're gonna hinge at those hips, push those hips back, and we are gonna extend into that nice T formation in three seconds. Two, one, 40 seconds of work here, hinging at the hips, and we are into those reverse flies, keeping that core nice and tight, keeping our core nice and tight. Back is flat, hips are square. Think about our breathing as well, a nice deep breath in as your weights come down. Exhaling as you extend up into that T formation for that reverse fly. All right, team, if we need to reset, stand right back up nice and tall. Hinge back over once again, last 10 seconds. Good. There we go. Last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, good job. Good job. Lateral lunges for movement number three. We can front rack with our dumbbells here, lateral lunge. We can have one single lateral lunge. We can hold them down to our sides and lateral lunge in two, one, setting ourselves up here. All right, lateral lunge here to the left and or to the right. 40 seconds of work here. Think about extending back through that outside of our foot, through our heel, driving back up to standing position. Good, keeping our chest up nice and proud. Our gaze is looking straight ahead as well. Out in 15 seconds. When we laterally lunge out to the left or right, think about our toes aligning as well, one straight line. Out in seven seconds here, team. Last five, three, 
two, one. Good work, good work. All right, good job. We are on deck here for T push-ups, okay? That push-up, down, really opening up our chest, keeping our hips square to the floor, seven seconds. We are on deck here, three, two, one. All right, team, setting ourselves up, high plank position, hands are stacked underneath our shoulders. We're down into our strong push-up. Sending back up that top position, rotating. My left arm goes up to the ceiling, gaze follows my fingertips. Good, think about nice strong breathing as well. Breathing in on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Good job. Try to keep those hips square to the floor. Toes are almost straight down to the floor as well. Last eight seconds here. Five, three, two, one, and time. Good job, team. Good job. How are we doing here? How are we doing? Woo. Dr. Barry, doing well, ma'am. Doing well. Yeah, thank you. Good job. Good job. All right, BFit Nation. I see us looking over here. I see us watching. Are we engaging with us? Are we working out with us? Let us know. Where are we watching from? Where are we joining us from? What's great about resistance-based training is, is it's obviously a different approach to high intensity or plyo movements where we're doing a lot of body weight jumps or um, you know jump squats or things like that, but it still elevates our heart rate. It's still asking us, asking our body for a lot of effort here as we push some resistance around, which challenges us, challenges our muscle groups, challenges our cardiovascular system where we'll feel this throughout the day. All right, team. Seven seconds here, staggered stance squat, alternating. Let's scale up to one, grab some weight here, holding it by the head, 40 seconds on the clock. Nice compact movement here. Good. Try this heel to toe on our foot placement, drive up through that front leg. Good. There we go. Look down every now and then, feel your foot placement, heel to toe. Shoulder width apart, nice compact movement, loading up that front leg, dropping down, sending right back up. Last seven seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds of rest here. We have dumbbell reverse flies coming up. All right, team. All right. So we have a lower body movement followed by a posterior back movement. So we are pulling in five seconds, reverse flies. Two, one, here we go team. Hinging at the hips, dumbbells, palms are facing us. Nice controlled movement here, All right? Really squeezing those shoulder blades at the top, bringing them together. Nice flat back, head is neutral. There we go. Keeping our core nice and tight, keeping our core in check. Squeezing that abdominal. Last seven seconds here. Three, two, one, time. Good job, how did those feel? Those are tough for me. <laughs> Those are very tough. Those are very tough. Good job though. Good job with that hinge movement. Lateral lunges coming up next. All right, five seconds to be exact. Three, two, one. Here we go team. The great, things about, the great thing about these movements is that we can scale up as needed or we can regress as needed and scale back. We can execute each of these movements with body weight only to our comfort level, to our fitness level or if we are a little bit more experienced, more advanced, we can scale up in weight to challenge ourselves, whichever, wherever we are comfortable with. So if it's a little too, a little easy for you, go ahead and scale up with those weights if you have them. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. Always adding a pause or always adding a knee drive. If you're doing some lower body work, if you add a pause at that bottom, maybe it's Push up just a little bit more, pause at the bottom, and then extend all the way up. That'll challenge yourself a little bit more as well. Five seconds here, so we have that key push up coming up. 
in three, two, one. All right, team, hands on deck here. We're into that push up with that nice, strong T formation, right? That hand is going to stop right at our torso, right above our torso. Gaze follows. Good job, team. Good job. Stay with us. Do we have any testing coming up, team? Do we have any, <laughs> any goals that we're looking to achieve this month? Kicking off July, nice and strong here. Five seconds in the month. Two, one, and time. Good work, team. Those 40 seconds fly by when you're doing T push ups. <laughs> uh, all right, team. Hydrate. Don't forget to hydrate. We have 50 seconds of rest here. Good job. Good job. How are we doing, Carlos? San Antonio, my hometown. <laughs> We've all been to San Antonio, no? All right. Marshall, Texas showing up here. Good work, good work. Okay. That's why I needed knee surgery with any of these squat movements, any type of variations like that. Make sure and take it easy. Make sure and take it slow, depending on where you're at with your recovery process or if you still need but take it easy, take it slow. And as always to your comfort level, always to your comfort level. Stagger stand squats coming up in five, three, two, one. Here we go, team. Setting our feet up for success here. Nice solid foundation, right? That's where our foot placement matters the most because we want about 80% of that weight to be on that lead foot, whichever foot is forward. Feet shoulder width apart. Once again, dropping down to our comfort level, really isolating that front leg quad, that front leg right here. 13 seconds here, keeping our chest up nice and proud. Seven seconds, driving up through our heel. Last four, three, two, one, and time. Good. Don't forget to engage your glutes at the top. You're resting, we're resting. 13 seconds here. Dumbbell flies coming up, hitting round three. We are flying by, team. We are flying by with this resistance training. <laughs> Here you go, team. Two, one, reverse flies coming up. Let's go. Stay with us, team. How are we doing today? How was our weekend? Were we still active during the week? During the weekend? 20 seconds here. Remember our feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees. We're hinging at the hips, so we're pushing, the, pushing our hips back as if we're pushing a door in with our glutes. Back is flat, hinging, so you're coming down at about 45 degree angle. Last three seconds, two, one, time. Good job, good job. Good. Sticking with those dumbbells or a little bit more here. Lateral lunges coming up. Clear my space here. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Starting at the center of my workout space. Driving back up. Good job, Sergeant Barry. Great form check, great form check. Good, last 12 seconds. Out in seven, team. At least two more. Three, two, finish it out. One, and time. <laughs> good job, good job. Way to finish that one out. Finish off round three, nice and strong. 10 seconds here, catch our breath here. We have T push-ups. We need to stretch it out. Let's stretch it out. We're gonna get down on deck here. Push-ups coming up in three seconds. Two, one, and we are pushing. A little note here, remember our foot placement, a little wider. The wider that your foot placement is, the more stability you'll have when you rotate up. So gaze at those fingertips. Good. 
Remember our hands are stacked underneath our shoulders and into that push-up, we should be making more of an arrow with our arms versus a T from that top view. So just tucked in, just a little bit. Last five seconds here, team. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job, good job. 60 seconds of rest here. Good work, good work. Move around, stretch it out if we need. We're still looking to burn some calories. We can move around a little bit, jump around a little bit. This is a great time to hydrate. Really feel out your body. See where you were at for this in the last and final round. Too hot in Phoenix. Yes, ma'am. Ohio coming in strong. All right. Phoenix in Ohio and Texas representing today. BFIT Nation showing up across the states here. Whew. 15 seconds here. Let's catch our breath here. And we are in that next and last and final round, right? Staggered stance squats coming up. All right, team, hold ourselves accountable here. Let's push ourselves in this last round. We are up in three, two, one. Here we go, team, checking ourselves. Staggered stance. Once again, on that foot placement, heel to toe, shoulder width apart, driving up to that front heel. Good. Good. Remember, if you're not able to join us right now for this live, save it for later. Let us know how you do later on during your day. If it's a little more accessible for you to watch at a later time, share it with your friends. Last seven seconds here. Good. Out in three. Slow three, two, one. <laughs> and time. That's the last time you'll see that one again. Today. <laughs> All right. Reverse slides. Coming up in 10 seconds, team. Remember to bring those shoulder blades together. Out in, oh, up in five. Here we go, team. Three, two, one. Hanging at the hips. Back is flat. Nice, strong stance. Bring those dumbbells up. Make it a nice T formation. Elbows should be bent slightly, soft bend. Good. Good job. Good. Halfway there. Really lifting with the purpose through all of these movements. Keeping our core nice and tight. Hips get pushed back. Stand up as needed. Reset. Come back down. Finish it out. Last five seconds. Two more reps. One, two, and time. Good job. Good job. Way to work towards the end there. Way to work to the end. Keeping with dumbbells here. Might as well keep them in our hand. <laughs> Lateral lunges coming up in seven seconds. Find that center of our space. We are up in three. Yep. Here we go, team. Front rack, hands by the side. Lateral lunge any way you need to tackle this or with no resistance at all. Make sure we're keeping that nice strong form, sitting back through our hips, driving up through our heel, keeping our chest up once again, keeping our chest up nice and proud. Good, 10 seconds here. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Toes are extending out through a line. Out in three, two, last rep, drive up and time. Good job, good job. We can put those weights down now. T push-ups are in 10 seconds, team. Stay with us. We didn't come far, we didn't come this far to only come this far. We're gonna finish it out nice and strong. Three seconds here. We are on the ground, high plank position. Two, one. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's finish it out nice and strong. If we need to regress, let's drop to our knees into that push-up then extend to that plank, and then that rotation. Gaze follows fingertips, all the same. Good, halfway there. Good. Nice, strong push-up, once again. Arrow from that area of you on our arms versus a T. 
Tuck those elbows in, that's five seconds here. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. Woo. Good job, BFit Nation. Good job. Way to hustle with this. Way to put in your max effort. That's all we ask for here at our BFit Lives to help keep ourselves ready and resilient here. Just give us a little bit of effort. Give us your effort, okay? Wherever that effort is on your scale, that's what we need here for our BFit Lives to execute these movements, okay? Just walk through with us. I hope you did. How are we doing? How are we feeling today? How are we feeling after this workout? <laughs> I know it feels a little warmer in here for me, maybe not as hot as Phoenix, <laughs> but it is definitely warming up in here. So again, this is our resistance focused workout for today. Okay. Uh, a little less plyometrics, a little less jump, a little less high intensity, but nonetheless, really focusing on those foundational strength movements. Okay. So we attacked and targeted our lower body with those staggered stance squats with our quads. Uh, doing a lot of the movement there, really engaging our core. And if we had dumbbells, think about that isometric hold. So we're holding a dumbbell right in front of our chest. That's engaging our bicep as well as a second or, or third uh, muscle group targeted. So just because we're not curling it doesn't mean that we are not focused on that bicep strength to hold, as well as a lot of uh, full body movement just to control that movement on the way down, keeping our chest up nice and proud. Second, we had that reverse fly coming into a nice strong T formation, really bringing our shoulder blades back and targeting our mid to upper back here with a nice strong reverse curl or reverse fly. We had those lateral lunges, okay? Not everything we do is forward and backward. So there we go. To, so to extend out uh, laterally to the left and or to the right, really it takes advantage of our planes of motion here, right? So now again, not everything's forward and backwards, but uh, lunging out left and right, taking advantage of uh, different planes of motion and movement that we can, uh, that we accomplish outside of the fitness and uh, inside of it's outside of our workouts here. And last and finally, our T pushes, right? Really strengthening our upper body here with our, our chest, with our triceps, and then engaging into that rotation and activating our core, really forcing us to stabilize and use our trunk for stabilization because we want to keep that nice and tight and also prevents injury, okay? With a lot of other movements and throughout our day as we move through. So team, BFit Nation, I hope you're feeling well today. Sergeant Barry, how are we doing over there? Hey, good, Brian. Um, I just wanted to tell you thank you. Uh, we do a lot of movements here that I would never think to do on my own. So I know it's definitely elevated my fitness to a level I wouldn't have gotten to on my own. So, and just every, joining me every Monday has, has been great. It reminds me to keep fit and keep a healthy lifestyle. So I just want to thank you again. I love this opportunity that you've given me every week. So thank you. Oh, yes, ma'am. No, absolutely. We're a team here at, at our BFit Live here. We're a team. You keep me accountable just the same uh, as the other way around. And, and just for our viewers as well, uh, you know, share this workout with your friends, with your family, with your spouse, with your siblings, you know, keep each other accountable. This community that we're building within our, our BFit Nation, it's just, it, uh, you know, it helps uh, that we are stronger as a team versus an individual. So, uh, you know, myself, Sergeant Barry helped keeping me accountable. We're all pushing each other uh, little by little. So every little win, every little victory adds up to that big ultimate goal, that big ultimate victory that we're, you know, striving to achieve. So once again, BFit Nation, great work. And thanks for joining us today on our Motivational Monday BFit Live program. I hope you enjoyed. On, my, on behalf of myself, Roy Montes here, Sergeant Master Sergeant Barry, Sonny Barry. Um, let's finish out the week nice and strong, team. All right. We'll see you later. Bye, team. <laughs>